Today on the channel, we got a creature feature, not talking about me and my dad, we're talking about the creature from the Black Lagoon, NECA Toys, Black and White Edition. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Universal Monsters NECA unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the black and white edition of the creature from the Black Lagoon but for all your creature from the Black Lagoon needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free and of course if it's universal monsters i got a special guest with me here today and it is my dad dad say hello hello are you back ready again for another creature feature i am back this ready. is the this is the third neca creature from the black lagoon unboxing we have done oh is that right yeah. unbelievable uh we did do the black and white or we're doing the black and white today we did the colored one about a week or so ago right. What is time as they <laughs> once do say and then we did the glow in the dark san diego comic-con exclusive I don't know, two months ago or something. That is currently up on Patreon still. Just haven't got that to the regular YouTube channel. It'll be up there eventually. Uh, but this one is the black and white edition. And I guess I haven't asked you in a while. Do you prefer the black and white to the color still? Or are you kind of back and forth depending no, on the character? Like I said, I think I like the colored ones. Um, but I like the movies in black and white. Oh, that's right. That's what we yeah. talked about. So you're still sticking with that story. I, I'm still sticking with that. Okay. <laughs> that works. I mean, the, these bring you right into the movie, the, the black and white, or sil in this case, silver. In first impression on this one, it looks scarier than the colored one it to does. me. It's got a little bit more of a creepy feel, creepy vibe to it in black and white. I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know, it's just uh, first, first impressions. And I did actually find this at Target. These are starting to hit Target stores right now, part of their fall geek out <clears> event, <throat> something like that. Check your NECA sets. Could be there waiting for you. My store got four of them. A uh, good friend of the channel, Jeff George. You know Jeff George, good oh, yeah. friend of the channel. Yeah. He was playing guitar in a Target, I think is what <laughs> he was doing. But he actually found four as well. So oh. uh, they seem to be out there all over the place. So if you're on the hunt for the creature, you probably better go to Target. But they will be eventually at the Entertainment Earth of the World, things like that. Okay. If you need some more. And I heard you're thinking about starting a double up collection on these. Is that true? Uh, I hadn't thought about that. No. I'm not sure what that means. You get two. You get oh, one you get for two. the box, oh. one for the loose. Oh, okay. You've done it before. Oh, okay. uh, the Grant Fuhrer starting lineup back oh, in the day. No. You had to have two of those, of course. Yeah. We all love Grant Fuhrer back in the day. Yeah. Uh, but we're, of course, Dad, going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And you used to tell me that. Where I got that saying from was as a little kid when we go grocery shopping you'd say Kyle we're gonna take it all out of the package we're gonna put it away <laughs> that's what you would say maybe not maybe I just made that up too but we are gonna take a look at the packaging let's dive in let's see what all the fuss is about and there's been some fuss about this creature because yeah. we are officially in October now I don't know if you knew that I knew it officially October, October. now it's it's crazy where is time yeah. going what is time that is my <laughs> ultimate goal to figure out time and how it works but uh absolutely crazy here that we're in October so now it is the Halloween season so you could almost classify this as a Halloween unboxing Really, at the end of the day True. and i got a lot of halloween stuff to unbox this month on the channel and i was looking for extra help out there and uh, maybe my daughter l might join in i was hoping to get you in for a leather face unboxing but you said i absolutely not i don't want anything to do with a leather face i can't identify with that i think you could i think you should no, see no, the movie you could give your little synopsis thoughts of the movie and then uh, unbox the figure It'd be great I, I would think that would allow people to dispute my whole character. <laughs> it would just, yeah. it would just listen. Like, but I how think, low can this guy go? I, I truly think the Texas Chainsaw Massacre bridges the gap between the Universal monster type horror into the Freddy Krueger type horror because you really don't see any blood, you don't see any dismemberment or anything like that in the movie. It's all psychological kind of. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like this kind of a thing, but it's uh, on to a new level, a new level. So. There's the quick synopsis, but maybe one day, maybe one day we'll do that. But there it is, the old creature, and we do notice new packaging design. I always love oh, it nice. that the black and white and the color have different packaging designs. Always think that is really cool. 
especially for people that are buying every single one of them. It gives a point of difference there, a point of difference. Looking good on the front. You got the creature just swimming, just swimming. And then there he is, a little glamour shot on the side over here. And then don't forget the back, all kinds of glamour shots. Glamour Shot City is what we call that one there. And then on the front of it is Creature from the Black Lagoon. And it says, not suitable for children. Now, when you were a kid, was there a lot of people scared of the creature? Uh, <clears throat> probably not any more than any of the others. So, like, on the old playground back in the day, and yeah. I know firsthand the playgrounds were tough. I had to fight to survive every single day on uh -huh. the playground. You know how that went. You were there. You heard all the stories. <laughs> all the stories, real time. Um, but uh, the playground when you were a kid, was it a tough playground? Uh, probably tougher than it is today. Oh, tougher yeah. than it is today. Yeah. yeah. You know, you had to fight to survive every 19, single day. 1950s, 1960s, people might have been a little more coarse. They're, people were nicer than I think they are today, but there was some coarseness. Too. There was. It's not all uh, roses. People look back on yeah. that stuff, think everything's hunky-dory, yeah. and it wasn't. There was fights, and I remember saying, Dad, this could be the last time I see you. When I'd walk out to school, it'd be like, I'd be five years old or something, I'd say, Dad... See, I'm taking my life into my own hands. I got three recesses today. You never know what might go down at these recesses. And you just never knew. You never knew if I'd come back. Huh? And you know what was really crazy? Remember Ebony the dog? I do. We had a dog named Ebony. And Ebony was what, a Labrador or something? Labrador mix, yeah. A Labrador mix. <laughs> and you know what's wild is I would be in class, and this is like old school. We didn't have air conditioning in my elementary school. You remember that? It would be so That's hot true. in there. We just sweat and you'd have pools of sweat going on. It was just ridiculous. Different time. Now they'd cancel school for something like that. But we had these big windows and they folded up and stuff. And Ebony would walk to school and find me. And she'd be sitting out front of my school window. I'd be sitting here in class at the desk and we're learning. And then the teacher would say, Kyle, is that your dog again? And then we'd look yeah. out the window. There's Ebony sitting right out there. And then the teacher would say, Kyle, take your dog home. So they would let me leave school in elementary. And I would walk. How far was the walk home, would you say? Oh, three or four blocks. Three or four blocks. Five. Let's call it five. I think it was yeah. about five miles, honestly. But uh, <laughs> yeah. it was a long walk. It was a long, yeah. especially on those cold, cold winter uh -huh. days. But I would just walk Ebony home and come back, and I, I should have took my time. I should have said, you know what, DuckTales is on. I'm going to say I watch one episode of DuckTales, then I'll go back to school. But I don't know. I was too, I was too nice. I had to get back to school. Yeah. I really wanted to learn. Oh, I loved, I cherished every moment of learning in elementary, or maybe not at all. But uh, crazy times back then, crazy <laughs> times. But anyways, let's get down to business here. It does say, not suitable for children, Richard Carlson, Julia Adams, with Richard Denning, Antonio uh. Moreno, Nestor Pavia, and Whit Bissell. Oh, you just don't hear many wits anymore. That's no, quite don't. the name. Ultimate Creature from the Black Lagoon. So you were saying to bring it all back home, like a young Bob Dylan once again. We've yeah. seen Bob Dylan quite a few times in concert yeah. over the years. Yes. You said uh, that nobody was really too scared of the creature. There wasn't one that just stuck out like, man, I wouldn't mess with that Frankenstein. I wouldn't mess with that creature. There wasn't one that stuck out back then? Uh, probably not. Huh. I, I, I think... Uh, Maybe maybe Dracula. Yeah, I guess a Dracula. Mystery, a little more sinister, and, a little more in the dark. And he felt like Dracula feels like he preys on you. Yeah. Where the creature, if you don't leave, if you don't mess with him, he's not gonna mess right. with you. And then uh, you know the Wolfman, kind of the same thing. There it is, the plastic prison. The Wolfman was one of those ones where, well, if you just don't go out when it's a full moon, you won't have any problems. And Dracula then, had the ability to hypnotize people. He did. Put him in his in a trance, and uh, that you know that was. Make people feel powerless. How do I fight this? And that's why a lot of people to this day hate hypnotists. Like uh, businesses, like uh, work Christmas functions, you know. You bring a hypnotist in and people just kind of groan like, oh no, not a hypnotist again. Uh, did I ever tell you when I was a kid, I don't know if you ever heard this story. Now here's another good one. When I was a little kid, uh, I worked at a grocery store. I don't know if you remember this. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and we had a Christmas party way back in the day, way back in the day. And this Christmas party... There was a hypnotist, and a hypnotist came, and everybody was excited. I wasn't really excited. I was more excited for the free uh, food. Uh, but this hypnotist was hypnotizing people, and one of the girls in the audience actually got hypnotized, and nobody knew she was getting hypnotized. Oh. Yeah, it was crazy. It was actually the store director's daughter, if you oh, can no. believe this. So she got hypnotized uh, from the audience. Well, this uh, it was right by the airport. And uh, the guy, the hypnotist, he got done with the show and left. Well, then they realized her in the back was totally hypnotized. She was just zonked out sitting there. And they, and this is back before, you know, 9-11. Yeah. Oh, we got a mess going on. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. So uh, they had this big old mess going on. And this was before 9-11. So they ran to the airport or they called the airport or whatever. And the guy came back to unhypnotize her. <laughs> It was wild. I was like, they should have just left her forever and see what happens. I mean, what, what's going to happen? He just sort of left an antidote or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs>
But it was a wild time. It was a wild time. That's something you don't want to do at your company party is be hypnotized any more than you probably want to take more than one or two drinks. A hundred percent. and, and you It's a never, career ender. A hundred percent. That is a pro-business tip that I can give and that you can also... We can come to agreement on the middle is if you're yeah. at a work function, maybe one drink. I wouldn't even do that if I was you. I would go zero drinks at a work function. Yeah. I know it's easy because it's all free. You've yeah. seen it. I've, I've seen, seen it. it. Yeah. I've seen too many people lose their jobs. And I've seen people lose big, big time jobs jobs it pretty dumb for a couple of drinks um i i just i remember just being just uh uh i just couldn't fathom like okay i'm gonna have i'm gonna get a dui on the way home and i'm going to lose my company car i'm going to lose my yeah. uh you know a hundred thousand plus dollar job just for a stupid decision like that so yeah. the more you know kids you didn't know you'd learn about drinking and driving today but th and these if creatures it, if they call you on stage to see the hypnotist chances are you're probably going to get laid off anyway. yeah that's so a that's a dangerous that, one that that's a uh a that, warning that's sign another right pro there. tip. Like, yeah. if they do a hypnotist at your work function, don't do that no, because that hypnotist is going to. He thinks he's just. Uh, he, they think yeah. he's on Andy Cobb. He's Jerry Seinfeld up there. They always are those hypnotists. And he's going to be like, "What do you really think about old Bruce, your manager?" And yeah. never good. Never no. good when the no, truth comes out up. about you're Bruce. Gone. It is. You're done. Yeah. You're done for. So stay away from hypnotists. They're a dangerous. They're a dangerous team. Those hypnotists. Dangerous breed. Yeah, yeah. it reminds me of Ben Ulan. You know, oh. Ben Ulan. A shout out to Ben Ulan. Oh, if you know you. No, and I don't know if anybody watching this even knows what the heck a Ben Ulan is, but boy, if you go down that rabbit hole, you'll be oh, you'll be right there. But anyways, back to the creature. We had the same billing one night on a, oh, on a stage right. here, here, here in Des Moines, and the crowd came away saying I was funnier. I, you know, I believe that 100. percent Ben Ben had a couple of rabbits out of his hats from time to time, and he had Cranky. Uh, that was his robot. I don't yeah. think he brought him for his stage show though, but he brought Cranky. But I guarantee you were funnier than well, uh, and that, ben. it's a difference because I never work with animals or children. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's stage. That's true. Well, let's stage. Uh, we had th we had three dogs yeah. here momentarily, just a little bit before this, and we thought they were going to join yeah. in and sit here. And I said, yeah. "You guys all go upstairs." No way. And, and they all listened. Yeah. Did you notice? They I all. Did. I said, "You, you, and you go upstairs," and they all went as a team right That's up great. there. You know, I control animals. I, I do. I'm an animal trainer. That's another one of the hats I wear from time to time. I got. I can just do this. These dogs, and they they know what's up. They you know have what's enough up. dog. You can start a sled dog. Team. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this winter that might be something else. I'm going to add it to my plate. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't Why I? But anyways, all right. Ben, ben Ulan, shout out to Ben Ulan. Shout out to uh, you know the I saw the other day your YouTube video. Remember that? Oh, we should get that up for the people. You think we should get that one up? We should Which try to dig one? that out. Remember you did that YouTube video way back in the oh, day. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I forget what it was called, but I saw yeah, that. I yeah, said, boy, yeah. that was a rising star. I need to find that video out. I think that could be a good Patreon. We were exclusive. unveiling a new website for business and yep. a, a new direct consumer website. This is back when you were in a working man in the working yeah. world. Now this is your job. <laughs> you come over. You come over every couple of weeks, and this is your job now. There you go. If they later have health problems. It's very important that you enroll within the specified time frame, six months before or six months after. Uh, if you don't, then you pay penalties for late enrollment into Medicare, and that penalty will stay with you in your Medicare premium uh, the rest of your life. Thankfully, as more and more seniors are becoming... We'll, we'll show you that. We'll show you that yeah. one day. But <clears throat> All right, let's dive into the creature. And what is old is new again. A lot okay. of the same stuff we saw with the other creatures, this time in black and white. But we get all the hands under the sun here is what we got. So we got his catcher mitt hands right here. Yeah. Like a young, a young... You know where this is going? Like a young Terry Steinbach. You know Terry Steinbach. I do. How could you ever forget Oakland A's legend in the pride of New Ulm, Minnesota? Did you know that? Yeah. Next time I'm up in New Ulm, Minnesota, which I'm there fairly regularly, I'm going to get a picture with the sign, or I assume there's a statue somewhere in that town. Should be. So Should be. We'll see. Shout out to Terry Steinbach. Big fan of the channel, too. Mm -hmm. Terry's going to come on here. Uh, we were hoping that they were going to do Hasbro starting line at baseball, and we were going to try to get Terry Steinbach on the channel here. But ah. eh, not going to happen. We just got the webbed out hands here, and as we always say, whenever you get a black and white and a color one, and uh, now we got the glow in the dark one. So we have three creatures, three different heads, make them as different as possible. Yes, they got color differences, but by different hands, different heads, at least they feel a little bit different. So that's my plan there. So you got the kind of curled in hand, the open hand, and then you got the uh, kind of middle of the road just creeping the nails on hand. So we got those hands, and then we got straight up hands here, just straight up flat hands. So. 
I don't know. I'm here for all these extra hands. I like it, but there's not a ton of differences between these hands. Mm -hmm. So very similar to the last one as well. So let's dive in now to the head sculpts on this one. And all day long, that is the creature. There's no doubt about it. Something about those eyes in black and white just peering at your soul. Just a scary day at the office is what that one is. But looks really good. Looks like the Gill Man, as he is known as he in is. some circles. Got the beautiful gills on the side there, kind of a bald head. Male pattern baldness, creature pattern baldness, a real thing as he's bald up on the top there. Does got the whole spike down the back as well. So once again, a lot of stuff we saw before, but we do get these extra heads. Is this the one with the moving mouth? Remember, we were just blown yeah, away I by that. I think it was the, one of the extras. Oh, it's got to be this one. Or there's none of them moving around today. No? Wait a minute here. We got some tomfoolery. <laughs> we got some tomfoolery going on. You, I think you coined that phrase back in the nah. day. I think this is the one. I don't know there what. was one that... Oh, there it is. There you go. There it is. Jeez, I was going to say. Okay. Yeah. I was a little confused. You could see underneath yeah. where you could push the chin up there. I was going to say, they wouldn't give us new heads here. So we got the regular stoic one, but the one that is the best is this one. That's the one I left on my colored two and one. one. Two in one head. You could do whatever you want with this one. I mean, really, I mean, I like that they gave us extra heads, but you really could have just given this head yeah. and called it good. Yeah. You kind of do whatever you want with this head. You can make all these expressions right. for the most part with this one but i really do like the movement on the mouth it's something you're going to very easily miss if you don't know you're looking for it right. i was we just both about fell out we of our chair shot. we were it was one of those shockingest shot. things we've ever seen yeah. here on the channel uh but i really do like that head that is mm -hmm. a, that is the best head at the end of the day then we get this one here with kind of the mouth open once again he looks like uh, that creature from uh, the movie enemy mine is what that yeah. reminds me of he yeah. looks like that guy there lou gossett uh, jr shout out to lou gossett and shout out to lou gossett jr too what did lou gossett do do we did he act yeah he did a lot of things no but jr did, did but oh. did the lou gossett i don't know isn't that the same person is it yeah. lou gossett and lou I gossett jr so. i believe so yeah so he, he's the same, same person. person i don't know he didn't have a dad that was lou gossett <laughs> I don't know. It's, no. very, it's very confusing with Lou Gossett. Was he, did, it? he did, but he wasn't an actor. Oh, okay, okay. The janitor or something. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. It wasn't Lou Gossett. What other movie was he in? Was he in like one of those airplane movies or something? Like uh, Eagle Force or Delta Force wasn't or something? Wasn't he in Blazing Saddles? I never saw that movie Maybe either. Not. We talked about Maybe that before with, of course, the great Alex Karras <laughs> uh, from yeah. Webster fame. Shout yeah. out to Emmanuel Lewis. Oh, a good friend of the channel. Did you see the Emmanuel I Lewis did. video? Yes. Just, oh man, oh, oh Webby. It's just weird to see Webster say my name. It is. Just a strange, just a strange thing to think. Like, you know, even if it was a cameo, I mean, he, he was paid to do it. He was paid quite handsomely too, uh -huh. as he should be. Uh, but it's just wild to see that. And then he gave... Uh, L, you know L. Yeah. L gave L a shout out on social media this week. Did I tell you oh, that? Oh no, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, Emmanuel said, "Hey, shout out to uh, L for watching every episode of Webster." Oh, and he wow. wasn't because L got her certificate back in the day. Oh, for completing yeah. all six seasons of Webster. <laughs> and then Emmanuel Lewis said on on Instagram, he said, "You know, I didn't know this was a thing, but congratulations. <laughs> uh, that's dedication and things." And at the end of the day, you set your mind to something and you finish. And that's what you always told me about college. You yeah. said, Kyle, you don't got to get all straight A's. It's all about setting your mind and finishing something. Showing that you could go through uh, the paces and finish. And that's what yeah. these companies want to see. And yeah. you were right. Yeah. You were right. Who I knew? just didn't have Webster in mind when I said that, though. Well, it, it all works. It all okay. works. And it all comes around to yeah. old Webby there. So yeah, Whatever works. Shout out to Webster. It's just nice to let him know how much he means to me. And the secret doors in this house, that's all inspiration from Webster back in the day. So who who to thunk it? Who to Perse thunk it? Perseverance through Webster. <laughs> through Webster. It's a new model. Shout out to Emmanuel, but him and I are pretty tight now, so I can call him Manny. Yes, oh. uh, you can too. You can too. But let's dive into this creature feature right here. Of course, the arm's going to go all the way around for us here. You got that scaling all on the arm. Nice attention to detail. Uh, you do get the single-jointed elbow. You do get the old back and forth. You can do that old creature wave, that patented creature wave from the from the lagoon. He gives you that wave there. Uh, you do have that. Of course, hands removable back and forth, side to side. Hula hoop at the top. Very tight articulation on this. NECA's come a heck of a long way. As we remember some older NECA figures... I don't know, 40 years ago, maybe when we started collecting NECA, or maybe 20, I don't know what it was, but they were fairly brittle from time to time, mm -hmm. and you would actually have things break, you oh, drop wow. something, it would break. Not anymore. These things have good durability to them. I mean, it's not a little kid's toy still, but it's got a good durability to it right there. Wow. Big old splits if you do need them. Up, down, side to side, back and forth. Oh my gosh, very tight. Double jointed knees on this bad boy right here. We do got some pins in there. You can see those pins. Mm -hmm. Ankles back and forth, side to side, like we are accustomed to. 
Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Look at that. He fits perfectly on the old ringside stand. Looking very good. Very scaly monster, the old creature here. But man, he looks really, really nice. He displays very well. And I honestly, it's weird as usually, I go back and forth which one I like, but there's something about this black and white creature that just... Just really speaks to me. It has really the speaks same to allure me. to you as the Silver Surfer. The, the Silver Surfer, mysterious very... silver. Yes. Yeah. Remember that Silver Surfer? You got. You even got one for your collection. The Walgreens exclusive Silver yeah. Surfer. He said, "I got to have this. <laughs> I've got to have this Surfer." And I'm sure he could fit on a surfboard if he yeah, needed to. Sure could. But a good, good figure here. If you have the other one, you know what you're getting yourself into. It's just a little color differences. And as I always say, move the hands around, move the heads around, make it feel as different as you possibly can, and bam, you are here to it. And my plan is, now that I got this creature out of the box, I got all the black and white ones uh, unboxed so far that we've ah. received. I'm thinking about, on the mantle above the fireplace upstairs, I'm thinking about putting these all on display for a Halloween decoration. Oh, okay. But I'm very anxious to see how many days or hours or minutes it takes Angie to figure it out. <laughs> That's always a fun thing. I like to put new pictures on the refrigerator. I like to do that kind of stuff to, to keep her on her toes. I see. So we'll see how long it takes. I usually do that with the gremlins for Christmas time. Uh, I think it took a week last year. Um, she might notice right away. Hopefully the kids don't give the jiggas up. I'm, I'm hoping they don't. But we do got more creatures here. There's the old glow-in-the-dark creature. Look at that. That's uh, the Toxic Avenger creature. Oh, yeah. uh, out of the Toxic Lagoon is kind of how that one looks there. But if I can get him to stand. Oh, the go. power. The power right there. And then we do get the uh, colorful one here. So, man, that's a creature team. That's a true creature feature right here, these three. You have the creature on the shelf. The creature. Start a new trend. <laughs> it's like the elf on the shelf, yeah. but it's the creature on yeah. the shelf. So which one do you prefer of these three? You're going to go black and white, right? I do like the black and white. I don't know why. I think I like the black and white as well. I I'm... didn't always like that in all the others. Although, yeah. Although I do, you know, like And I think there'll part. be something cool once you get all the black and white ones together or all the color ones side by side. Mm -hmm. I think there'll be a really cool little yeah. uh, display shelf when that does yeah. happen. Uh, but I think I like the black and white, then this one, and then obviously this is right. probably our least favorite. Right. It's it's one of those things that's just kind of cool to have, but yeah. it's not a must-have is what this one is over here. But speaking of must-haves, Dad, we are, uh, as we're filming this, New York Toy Fair is going on right now. Oh, we wow. know all about Toy Fair from back in the day. Uh, back before the <laughs> internet, there was exciting times. You know, we'd just wait. We'd have to like, wait a month after Toy Fair was over to get that Toy Fair magazine, remember? Oh. We used to get, uh, yeah, was it Toy right. Fair magazine? What was the other one? It was like... Was it Toe Marts or something? Could be. There was a couple yeah, of different toy magazines we used to get, and we'd yeah. be like just waiting, okay, what are they going to show? What are they going to show? Well, now, thanks to the internet, we get to see this stuff all immediately. But the and magazine's out of business. I'm going to break some news to you right now. What's coming up here? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. We've been talking about this, and the day is finally coming, but we'll, we'll put that as the main event. Here's the appetizer. We did huh. see Frankenstein for the Bride of Frankenstein. Right. New head sculpts on this Frankenstein. He is in his chair, got the wood boards by his head. That's coming as a deluxe, deluxe huh. Accessory oh, wow. set, so that's going to be a must-have. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, then we did see London After Midnight, so that oh, one is coming as well. Oh, okay. So we got that one, which nobody's ever seen that movie. And if you <laughs> if you did see that movie, you're probably dead by now because it was lost. You know, uh -huh. it was a lost film, a Lon Chaney. That's true. Uh, but that's going to be a good one. I don't know if we can really talk a whole lot about it, but we'll be able to go through it. We'll be able to go through it. I don't know that I've ever seen it. You, nobody seen has. It. It's no, a lost no, film. No. So you just everybody knows the famous pictures from right, it, and, right, and that's right. about it. But uh, so they got that one coming as Lon. Cheney, but the big announcement, the big announcement that uh, hopefully you're sitting okay, you're not going to fall off your chair here, is they did announce NECA in 2024 is moving into Hammer Horror. Oh. Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, Vincent Price coming from NECA. Oh, wow. Uh, are you ready for that? It's early in the morning I'm here. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. It's very early here in the morning. It's about 4.30 in the morning. We start very <laughs> early out on the farm here. And uh, it's just exciting news. We just got to really suck that in I'll a little bit. I'll just have to see how that goes. Yeah. But Vincent Price is looking like Vincent Price. And the cool thing is they gave him like three heads. And, oh. and I'll show you the pictures. Not, not all at once. Not all at Separate. once. No, oh. not the man oh. with three heads. It's kind of like that movie with the man with two heads back in the day. What an oh. all-time classic movie. I love yeah, that movie. It was terrible. Oh, just such a good one. That, Rosie that guy, Greer. Yes, Rosie Greer was yes. That. that guy's like a racist and oh. he's got to have more. Oh, it's just classic cinema. Terrible idea. Classic cinema. I've seen that movie like five times and people oh. are like, Kyle, how have you never seen... Um, 
have you never seen Back to the Future, The Green Mile, or all these movies? Yeah, I've seen The Man with Two Heads five times, though. I've seen that, so that's got to count for something. That's perseverance. <laughs> that is perseverance, about. yeah. No one else never has ever done, done that. No never. human on Earth has that's ever right. sat through that movie five no, times. exactly. Most, not even more. And I have. I remember I saw Freddy Got Fingered. You remember that movie from Tom Green back <laughs> I, in the day? I do, yeah. I saw that movie three times in the theater. Ooh. Three times in the theater! It's true, I did! <laughs> Just wild times with Kyle and his cinema. Um, but uh, where was I going? Christopher Lee is going to be the first oh, one okay. and Vincent Price. But Vincent Price comes with three heads, so you get really early Vincent Price, wow. you get middle of the road Vincent Price, and you get the old gray hair Vincent oh, Price. Wow. So you could choose your own Vincent Price adventure. Um, I was hoping they'd have the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo Vincent Price, because that's where I came into Vincent Price in the 80s when he was part of that Scooby-Doo cartoon, but uh -huh. uh, maybe that'll come later on, maybe a repaint. but that Vincent Price is going to be good, and we've talked about Vincent before, old Vincent, uh, how he is known as this, like, a horror guy, but not known for a character, like Bela Lugosi, known for Dracula, yeah. uh, the, the Olympic swimmer known as the creature. <laughs> <laughs> whatever uh, that is there but then christopher lee is the first one they're coming out with mm. he's got the blood mouth of the blood mouth one or you got the stoic mouth just a really all-timer figure and i think you're gonna have to come for that review i think i'd rather have the lord of the rings christopher lee. Uh, yeah that's a good one too i i have i can't argue that yeah. point but i feel like you're gonna have to unbox that oh. christopher lee dragon no, i don't with know me. i, I don't think know if i could do that you're gonna have to come over you're gonna have to put your hammer bias aside no, no uk people you people <laughs> in the uk watch this my dad doesn't hate the uk people you love a lot of bands from the uk i do you know he is a big moody blues fan moody I blues <laughs> you love all the moody blues i was one of the first one of the in first america yeah, exactly yeah. Shout out to Graham Edge, Graham Edge. and uh, Ray Thomas, John Lodge. rest in peace, John Lodge, of course, Justin Hayward, Exactly. <laughs> truly knights in white satin, and that's no doubt about it there. Big Moody Blues guy, big Moody, but he just doesn't like his hammer horror, but we'll, we got time, we got time, I think it's quarter two, 2024, so you're looking at April, May, June time frame for Christopher Lee, so you got some time to prepare, we'll see. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Vincent Price around the same time. And then they said there's going to be more announcements now. New York Comic Con is in about uh, two weeks from now. Apparently they're going to announce somebody else. Got to imagine oh, Peter wow. Cushing will be coming. Maybe a little Van Helsing. <laughs> Maybe a little Van Helsing action. We'll see what happens. But one thing that we know will happen for sure is we're going to wrap up this creature review. Yeah. We're going to call it quits. We we're going to <laughs> we should. It's uh, time's ticking. Uh, we're finishing this <laughs> one up. The creature trilogy is finally uh, past us now. I don't know. Can we get the creature that walks among us maybe in the future? We'll see what happens with that. But this could be the end of the road for the creature. Yeah, but, uh, I'm sure it, it is. It's definitely not going to be so hard to say goodbye because these are staying in my collection just like they are in yours. You got them so, all. That's the final thoughts. There it is. Creature from the Black Lagoon, black and white edition. Uh, for my dad, I am Kyle. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel or the second YouTube channel. Have you subscribed to that yet? I have. Okay. Whew. Because I might have to put this up there. You never know. It might go on either channel. You never know. So make sure you subscribe to the channels. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget about Patreon for early access to this video. Heck, this one's still over there uh, from a month or so ago. So check out the old Patreon channel. Your best way to support the channel. And you can also go to ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and threads. So for my dad and the creature from the Black Lagoons... I am Kyle. See you all real soon.